prove striking enough for champ. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but I think the champ's kind of ducking Chase Hooper right now. Makashev, I don't think he wants that smoke. You look like Vitaly's next perpetrator. Okay. I don't know what that is. How do you see Paddy versus Moikano? Thank you, John Jones, though. Uh, new person in the chat. How do you see Paddy versus Moikano ending? I see Moikano winning it by top position. I think he can out-hustle top position from Pimlet. I don't know if he finishes him there. But I definitely think he can out-hustle top position from him. And probably outstrike him as well. So I'll probably go with Moicano with a 10-8 in the third. But Pimlet like, gets a round close. One round clear Moicano. So I'd say like 29-27 Moik. Which is actually true, funnily enough. What's Dred's been up to? You know what? He's... I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I keep being told it. So I'm going to say it. You know he can't leave South Africa. He hasn't left since we went there. Not joking. Never came back from South Africa. He's still there. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I was talking to my friend I went there with the other day. He went, you know, dreads. He didn't say dreads. You guys say dreads. He said, you know, he's still there. I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean he's still there? And he said he got uh, his parents are not happy with him. <laughs> not happy with him. They won't let him leave the country. Uh, not happy with his behavior that they were getting up to out there. That they were getting up to, guys. No way. Okay. Give it a five dollars. What's up with the Taylor Van switch up? Was looking forward to that matchup. Predictions for the new matchups. Um, I don't know what's up with the Taylor Van. Uh, switch ups. I saw though that um, they've stopped the fight and they've put them against different opponents. And to be honest with you, I like it. Doesn't it make more sense to do Perez versus Teira and Van versus Ulembekov? It does. It really does. These are much better matchups. They can both get to the. I'm actually so happy about this. They're likely both going to win. We get to see Tagir Ulembekov. Uh, test his skills again. We get to see uh, Joshua Van, see if he can stuff takedowns against Tagiril and Bekov, which I think he'll be able to. And we get to see if Tatsuro Teira can implement his grappling against Perez, because if he can, you can make the argument that he's got a better controlled grappling than uh, Mikhaev. So that'd be interesting as well. I'd, li I'd love to see both those matchups. They're great matchups. And then we've got Manel Cap versus Mamed Mikhaev. Dude, these fights are sick. These flyweight matchups right now. Flyweight is fucking alive like it's never been before. We got Tavares versus the uh, Iron Turtle. Yin Yong Park. Good fight. Cody Brundage, Abdul Razak Hassan. How are they signing? How are they continuing to sign Cody Brundage? Fair play. Oh, yeah, there's a chat. Fucking hell, I'm looking at the fights. Uh, you'll probably be on bottom. Full guard on bottom. Just camping it out quite a bit. You're wrong about Tayra versus Van. Those prospect versus prospect, prospect fights are like low-level title fights. Hardcore fans pick a side and the build-up is great. You know what, Kendrick? I'd completely agree with you if they had it on the main card of UFC 302. The fact that they had it on the early prelims makes me fucking glad. Fucking glad that they're not putting that fight on. If you're going to put on that fight, don't have Marc-Andre fucking Barry Alt on the main card instead of it. Put it on the fucking feature fight. That's a sick fight. Don't put it on the early prelims. So I'm glad the fight didn't get made. Imagine that getting wasted on the early fucking prelims. I don't know what song. Thank you for the $5. $2. Big Moth moves and you flinch. Flinching is actually a sign of alphaness. I actually do believe that, chat. You know when someone tries to make you flinch? The only reason you're not flinching in that moment is if you're stood there going, I'm not going to flinch. I'm not going to flinch. He's going to try and make me flinch. Yep, I didn't flinch. Flinching, yeah, is actually a sign that you're combat ready. Yeah. Flinching versus reacting, yeah. Flinching, like, if you give a little lean back after someone jolts at you, that's fucking... That shows you're a warrior. That shows you no combat right there. Not flinching is a certain surefire way to somehow get fucking sucker punched KO'd. Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong there. Like a lot, I mean, in combat sports, it's different when they're doing face-offs. But in reality, dude, I ain't fucking risking, oh, I flinched. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't risking that shit. 
So when these guys are doing face-offs, it's like, yeah, he flinched, he flinched. But in real life, yeah, don't give a fuck. I'll flinch. I'm going to flinch. What the fuck? What am I going to be like? I didn't fucking flinch, though. <laughs> I'm slept by a right hand. Fuck off. Flinching is, you got to flinch. Don't be tricked. Thank you. There. That they were getting up to, guys. No way. Okay. Barber versus Rose main event of a crowded main event. No way. That's not true. Roundtree Hill. I think Hill wins it. I've seen shitty fighters do well against Roundtree. I haven't seen any shitty ones. Well, Paul Craig did well. Not on the feet. You know what I mean? Do, 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 You look like the... I don't know what that is. No, what was that play, Kyrie, man? No, you idiots! Offensive foul. Ariel Hawani tweeted, Nami Yunus Barber is the main event. How did they not get that from the collection as well? Nami Yunus Barber is the main event of UFC Denver. I just don't believe you. I'm going to check it now again. I do not see that at all. Ariel Hawani Twitter. Wow, they've made that a main event. I'm angry about that. Check Big Marcel before you tweet. Well, he's not announced it as anything. We're here for you. Oh, Tracy Cortez versus Miranda Maverick. Why would they do that fight for Tracy Cortez? Shouldn't she be moving up the rankings? Oh, it's all good though, man. It is what it is, isn't it? Who cares? Full Violence announced it as the main event. Yeah, I've already fucking tweeted aggressively about it, mate. It's over. <laughs> it has been done, you know? Do, do. Ah, oh, it's over. It's over. I wanted Cortez, Natalia Silva. Fuck's sake. Yeah, same. How does someone sit down and watch a Rose fight and then think to put her in a main event with a crowd? I have no idea, but you know why. It's just put women in a main event. It's not about what's good for business. It's not about what's good for the company. It's just let's put women in a main event. We're dumb. We hate business. We don't want to succeed. We're dumb and we hate it. <laughs> 